Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and today I'm going to show you how to work on the joins in SOQL in Salesforce. So please watch this video until end and let's get it started without any further delay. Okay, so here you can see like joins in SOQL. So if you are familiar with SQL, like SQL that is called Structure Query Language, the biggest gotcha when you are writing SQL, Salesforce Object Query Language, is how to join or done. You will see this term subquery used instead of join because of how query are done on the Salesforce platform. You can still do join. It's just done a little differently than you are used to. So first of all, let me show you this one that is called subquery that is called outer join. So there are two join under the SOQL that is called Salesforce object query language. We have two join. One is outer join or inner join. Okay. First of all, let me show you this one that is called outer join. So in SOQL or SQL, a join is when row are selected from multiple tables are joined together on the columns common columns thinking about your tables like as a win diagram okay uh, it is a great analogy for this uh, let's say you want to query all the accounts and also include their related opportunity so this is the outer join query here you can see like select id name and select id name account close date from opportunity and from the account okay so this is the outer join uh, join in the soql so you can work accordingly so how to do that so first of all let me show you with practically so let me open my salesforce org and you can open the salesforce org as you have so this is the my salesforce org and click on this gear icon and click on the developer console so let me show you one example regarding outer join okay so you can take any object as you want so let me close this one and here you can see in bottom one arrow just click this arrow and now you can select query editor here and write your query here so how to write the query like select id comma name okay from account this is a simple query you know very well just click this execute and it's showing me all the result regarding my object storage that is called these records under the account object right so how to write the outer join query so outer join so you can write outer join with the help of this example this one like this uh, under this one let me add another query that is called join like outer join so here you have to write with the help of comma and again you have to write like select id comma name from opportunities okay so this is coming from the opportunity so let me execute this one and here you can see this account that is called uh, Jenny point having this opportunity and these all account name doesn't have any opportunity you can see right and under this opportunity you can see like ID name because I already query here like ID name only so that's why I'm getting this ID name here under the opportunity column right so this is the outer join under the SOQL right so how to work on the inner join so let me show you with example and with practical so here you can see in this example that is called this first example so this is an example of an outer join because it selects all the accounts and which include their related opportunity via the sub queries right so if an account does not have any opportunity so it will still be written here okay you can see here it's empty because it doesn't have any opportunity because it's account it's empty under the opportunity right so account name doesn't have any opportunity like this Sumit and Dinesh all the things and another things that is called this account record have these all opportunity here right so this is the outer join so now an outer join is a similar to selected one whole circle in a Venn diagram including the area that overlaps with this other circle right so how to work on the sub query that is called inner join in the salesforce that is called inner join so an inner join can seem a little more complex okay so this is when you need to select the area in, in intersects between the circle in a Venn diagram 
so i will show you the venn diagram what is this one in my titles that is called thumbnail of the, this video you can easily understand first is a outer join and second one is a inner join a more concrete example would be to select all the accounts and their related opportunity only when a, an account has a related opportunity right so how to write inner join under the SQL so select ID name then you have to write your query like this and uh, from the account and you have to do like where ID in with the help of in operator we can select from the like select account ID from opportunity so let me copy this query and paste it in my developer console and let's see what's happened so you can easily understand I just query like select ID name under this query you can see my outer join here and after that you can see like uh, inner join that is called where so it's a filtering the records in the opportunity into the accounts so just click on the execute and after that you can see only related records that is here like uh, account is related to this opportunity or this opportunity related to this account not empty here you can see only uh, only that account have the opportunity it's showing here not like uh, account doesn't have any opportunity like that so here you can see is the exact query as we have right so here the additional of the line 3 is the only difference between this query and the previous example uh, the where clause right has a sub query in it which will filter for the accounts whose id in a list of account ids selected from the opportunity and this creates our, our outer join to join because we know only return accounts with opportunity okay so this is the all about the joins under the sql so like outer join or inner join so guys you learn something new in this video I hope okay and please watch this video again and again because it's a very most important concept under the SQL until then bye bye take care